I failed my last challenge, and I failed my loser's challenge. So now I have to write the entire B-movie script in the middle of the desert! Well, not exactly the middle of the desert. I live right over there. I wasted no time and immediately got to work. This is damn near impossible to read! We're gonna go on, but don't expect the finished product to be something you can actually read. It's going to look like absolute gibberish. On average, humans can write 13 words per minute, and this script is almost 14,000 words long, and I'm not allowed to leave until I'm done writing it. And to make things even harder, I am only allowed to use things like this stick and this rock to write the script. I have just finished the first page. It took me about 10 minutes, and we only have 72 pages left to go. I carried on my mission for hours, and honestly, time was flying, but I was getting hungry and lonely fast. Wait a minute, somebody's coming? Giuseppe! Giuseppe! Where's the bee? <laughs> <laughs> I am incredibly hungry. I have been out here all day without any food, so I'm taking my credit card and I'm giving it to Giuseppe. Ooh, you gotta go to Subway right now. Thank you! Yes! Before I set out on this beautiful nightmare, I made five trips hiking supplies to build a camp. I brought plenty of warm clothing and blankets and plenty of water, but I didn't bring any food and I didn't bring a light source besides my phone. So while I was stuck writing the entire B-movie script, Giuseppe was the real MVP. Can you read that? No. But you could tell it's words, yeah? Yes. Nice. While I continued to obliterate my knees, Giuseppe worked on a little something of his own. I have a full-blown camp going on here now. It looks like I just have lived here for like years, if not months. That didn't make much sense. You know what you're doing down here, buddy? Uh, I just drew a picture. Let me get it for the video, bro. What the fu- We're losing daylight fast! But I have gotten all of this done, but you still can't read any of it! Alright, we're leaving. Wait, you're both going? Yes. You're just gonna leave me out here alone? The sword's right there. We are in the very last daylight of the day, and they're going to get the lights, so I don't even have lights yet. Needless to say, I'm a huge wimp, and I was very relieved when my friends got back before dark. It is now entirely dark out here. I am scared and it is starting to get very cold. I didn't let any of that stop me. Despite everything, I wrote hours into the night, going over the same spots of my camp over and over again. My spirits were high until... Wait, you guys are leaving me out here all alone? Yeah, you thought we were gonna sleep here. There's one tent. This is going to be the most terrifying night of my life. Hey, it's just about 10 p.m. I'm very cold. I'm very tired. I've been sitting in this chair for literally hours just scribbling the letters in the same spot. Nine and a half hours, 47 pages down. Got 25 pages to do in the morning, but I, I gotta go to sleep. Even though I was only a minute sprint from my car, I was incredibly anxious, and this happened. I'm having a really hard time sleeping. Like I'm nauseous from the nerves. I have a pounding headache. The whole reason I'm here is because I failed the last two challenges. If I leave now, I'm just failing another. Part of the reason I wanted to do this was to push my boundaries, to break out of my comfort zone, to prove to myself that I could- Giuseppe's on his way to help me clean up all this stuff and I'm going home, dude. And then I proceeded to throw up for the rest of the night. We're back. I'm just gonna grind it out and just be done with this stupid challenge. Our greatest asset has survived the night. B! This is B, the greatest dirt riding utensil ever known to man, and I love them. With B in hand, there was nothing stopping me from absolutely knocking out the rest of this script. This is undoubtedly the stupidest challenge I have ever done in my life. If you want to see more stupid challenges, make sure to subscribe and like the video if you have enjoyed it. As stupid as this challenge was, I learned how important it is to not take things like a room to sleep in or good friends for granted. The scariest night of my life is every night for some people, and I am so grateful to be in the position I'm in. My whole camp filled! My whole front yard filled! Both slightly trampled! I've been out here for three hours today now, which brings our total time to 12 and a half hours. 
We only have five pages left to go. This is page 69. The script is literally falling apart on us, and unfortunately, tragedy has struck. To save time, I went back to my old method of writing over and over in the same place we faced a casualty. Our beloved comrade B has fallen. I don't know how we'll ever come back from this. We are almost there. We are on the very last page, and I wanna make this page entirely legible. And after that, I'm done. I'm getting the heck out of here. I'm done in this stupid desert, man. This is so dumb. And finally, 73 pages and just under 14 hours of writing later. That's it. I am done. I have just written the entire B-movie script in the desert. Here's the first half of the last page. Looking mighty fine, if I do say so myself. Here's the second half. Looking significantly worse. I seriously just made it look like animals trampled through this whole desert looking for gold. I put the finishing touch on my monument to Barry Benson B and was just about ready to finish my long journey. But there was just one last thing I had to do. I'll never forget you, B. Thank you. That's it. I'm leaving. I'm getting out of this desert. Subscribe. Bye! Oh.